No, comrade, you can't disagree. No, no, listen. If you disagree, yes, and look what happened to him. No? No, no, no. All you have to do is just smile and say, Yebo mshawalozi. Now I've got the pretias for his office. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's, isn't it wonderful seeing a government happy, laughing, smiling? They had an NEC meeting this week, and the whole of Lutuli House was filled with excited, happy politicians, all clustered around the president that I don't think they can stand. Well, it was like in the old days around Tabum Bekin when he said HIV doesn't lead to AIDS. They all didn't say anything. Ach, unity makes strength, ne? Ja, Iendrach mag mag. Worked for the National Party. Well, I'll, until I spoiled it. Well, it's not my fault, but it was time to change things. I put two Valiums in P.V. Buerta's orange juice. The moment he was asleep, we took him back to the wilderness where he belonged. Suddenly, everybody said, oh, we can breathe, we can breathe. The Buerta tannic has hit the iceberg. <laughs> Novel snogs. But we didn't actually realize we had got rid of the old crocodile, but hadn't appointed a new one. Of course, uh, everybody wanted to be president after P.V. Buerta. Chris Hiernes. Do you remember Chris Hiernes? He spoke so much rubbish, his own dog used to bite him. Of course, Puck Boerta wanted to be president. Look around the Afrikaner Bruderbond. There's got to be one brain cell that works. One brain cell that works. And so we got them all together in Tainais. Machtag was a Dagestan for three days in Caucasus. Got my Engels was not so as well. Eventually, I looked out of the window into the Garden of Tainais, trying to find inspiration from Table Mountain or to make sure that the garden boys were not eating the squirrels. And then I saw him, Pivi Buerta, he was back in the garden, behind a bush, smoking secretly like a naughty schoolboy. Except for Puck, the crocodile is in a drug. That's not Pivi Buerta, that's F.W. de Klerk. I said, he looks just like Pivi Buerta. Same bald head, same glasses, virtually same initials, definitely same problem. Let's make him president, nobody will know the difference. We won't have to change the stamps or the coins. So I called him in. He came in. I said, Evie de Klerk, can you spell the word democracy? He said, no. I said, you're the new president of South Africa. Oh, but goodness me, did we ever realize what would happen. Suddenly, he turned the impossible into the ordinary. Evie de Klerk unbanned the ANC and the Communist Party. He freed Nelson Mandela. Yes, we saw the light at the end of our tunnel. We didn't know the tunnel was curved, but now there was the light. Nelson Mandela gave us all a second chance to make our dreams come true. We won't get a third chance. Aye, yeah, there it was, the 27th of April, 1994. Millions of South Africans queuing up, queuing up to vote for the first time, and many of them voted many times. <laughs> Allah world. Well, it's up to us to make it work. It's up to us to make it work. You know, they sometimes say every democracy deserves the government it gets. Hmm? Makes you think again, doesn't it? Lovely Proteas for the office of President Jacob Zuma. <laughs> Say the no Evita should be queen.